You are welcome to grisly tales for gruesome kids. A series of cautionary tales for lovers of squeam. It is with deep regret that I bring you this news. Today, I shall be telling this story on my own. Because Spindleshanks is a mug. <laughs> he's so potterified by this story that he's gone to China. <laughs> and I hope the sissy spider stays there. Whoops! Clumsy! I call this tale... The People Potter. Greta Gorky was a clumsy lubbock. When she walked into a classroom at school, the other children cried, Lorox, it's Gox! Whoops! Whoops! What is going on in here? Sorry! Completing the simplest of tasks was impossible for Greta without wholesale destruction of her immediate surroundings. She just didn't think. Hello, old dog. Who wants a little cat, then? It wasn't my fault. It never was. It was an accident. Wrong again. She needed to leave things alone, but clumsy people never do. Her parents owned a rare Ming vase worth half a million pounds. They lived in terror of Greta breaking this vase, and she was banned from ever touching it. But that meant nothing. When she was eight, she thought she heard a genie snoring and climbed inside with toast for his breakfast. Oh, it wasn't me. When she was nine, she took lessons on how to be ladylike. Oh, it wasn't me. And when she was ten, she danced the dance of the sugar plum fairy without the aid of a safety net. Oh, The flood was the final straw. If you break that Ming vase, her mother said, you'll be sent to a big old house to work as a celery maid. Is that like a scullery maid who polishes skulls in a dungeon? No. A celery maid eats nothing but celery. Oh, yuck! I hate celery. Yuck! Leave it. We'll scrape it up later. Then, after supper, her father produced a parcel marked Breakable. We found it in an antique shop. The man said it would encourage you to take more care. What's that noise? said Greta suddenly. It was like a wheel spinning. And there was a smell too. Of play! Do you like it? It's Worcester, 1795, over 200 years old. Is he a waiter? <laughs> no. He's the people potter. Who? Greta's parents told her the legend. How Josiah Reeks' life's work had been smashed by careless children. Can we have our pig's blood back, mister? How he'd gone mad. And the children had gone missing. He potterified them, explained her father. Potterified? Turned them into China. Why? Because if they were ever clumsy again, they'd break. Greta wasn't sure she liked this figure. Do not break me. Pass me on to a clumsy miner. Let them know that if I smash, I'm coming back from China. What does that mean? 
It means you mustn't smash it, dear. Or what? Nobody knows, Greta, but I wouldn't want to be the one to find out. Unfortunately, the Papal Potter made Greta nervous, and nerves increased her clumsiness. As she ran from the ugly figure, she caught her cardigan. But she wasn't stopping for anything, not even that swish swirling noise in her head. She clumped upstairs, broke three stair rods with her big feet, and dived into her bedroom. That is it, Greta. When we get back, we expect the house to be tidy. Through cold, glassy eyes, the people Potter saw it all. But the trouble really started when Greta noticed the missing button. But as usual, Greta was not looking where she was going. Oh, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh, oh, I, oh, 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 Greta's only thought was to save the Ming vase. But as she crawled into the hall, events took a bizarre turn. An alarm went off. A neighbour called the fire brigade. And the driver of the mole, which was drilling a tunnel under Greta's house, heard what he thought was the lunch break siren and turned his machine around. Only that was when the steering wheel locked. The throttle jammed and the driver jumped ship. That was also when Greta remembered the people potter. But before she could reach it, two jets of water knocked her off her feet. And it was lucky they did, because that was when the mole broke through. The house shuddered and the walls collapsed. Help! As luck would have it, an alien spaceship came to her rescue. The captain had heard the jammed record, mistaken it for a distress call and popped down to help. Once the mole had gone, she was lowered back down and the spacecraft blasted off, taking most of the house with it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> no! Who's there? Do not break me. Pass me on to a clumsy miner. Let them know that if I smash, I'm coming back from China. It wasn't my fault. It was an accident. Then who's a clumsy clod? Said the people potter. Greta's parents returned home to discover that their clumsy <gasps> daughter had been potterified. How's the Ming vase? asked her mother. Fine, said her father. Not a scratch on it. From that day on, Greta didn't clump, gawk or lumber. She didn't even blink for fear of breaking herself. She became so careful that people often mistook her for a real statue. <laughs> Remember, the potter's wheel is always spinning. In case you're worried, I stuck Spindleshanks back together again. I think he looks better, don't you? Still makes a rubbish cup of tea, though. <laughs> <laughs>